Wanda Abney. All right, you are charged with having an animal in your vehicle. Yes. All right, now, and that's in violation, allegedly, of Section 4-12 of the City Ordinances of the City of Providence. Now, the ordinance reads as follows, that no person shall confine any animal in a motor vehicle in such a manner that places it in a life or death threatening situation by exposure to a prolonged period of extreme heat or cold without proper ventilation or other protection from such heat or cold. Now this was issued on June 16th, so I suspect that this was not a uh, matter of extreme cold. I suspect it was a matter that the police officer made a determination that the dog was placed in a life or death uh, threatening situation by being exposed for a prolonged period of time to heat. What do you say to that? Um, Your Honor, I have went to the mall earlier that day. It was my aunt's 80th birthday. The outfit I bought was too small, so I ran back to the mall. I have a handicap sign. So I was rushing. I forgot to put the handicap sign in the window. That's what they originally wanted to give me a ticket for. But when I gave him the handicap and my paper, then that's when he said, well, the car. And I said, well, my windows are down. I said, it's not hot. It's almost 7 o'clock at night. And they still gave me the tickets. And I took pictures while they were still standing there around my car with all the windows cracked. And it, it was it was 7.04 in the evening. Yes. Mm-hmm. He just pulled it up for me, too. It was like 63 degrees outside. Mm-hmm. That gentleman right here. Inspector Quinn, how do you feel about this? Your Honor, I wasn't the officer on the scene. I don't know what the temperature felt like there. You know what I mean? If it was inside the garage, I mean, whatever the temperature is outside, I don't know what it would be in the garage. It wasn't so in the garage. I would have no say. It's I know up- the sun doesn't set till about 8 o'clock from June to uh, right. September. So. It's up on the third floor at the mall. That's outside. Well, that doesn't help you. <laughs> if it was in the lower portion of the garage where the sun isn't directly hitting the vehicle. Well, if it was done, the sun was the sun had went down, and like I said, I took pictures before the cops even left. All my windows are cracked like this much. All right, based on what you're telling me today, I feel like you're going to prevail. Okay, but I want to protect the interest of the dog as well, so I'm going to set the matter. So I'm going to set the matter down for trial, and I want to protect you as well. Yes. Okay. So I would I'm, never jeopardize my dog. <laughs> Not willfully, I'm sure you are. No, no. I'll okay. treat it better than my children. <laughs> <laughs> and I get no lie. <laughs> I just paid $900 just for her surgery. You did? Yes, she had a little hernia. Yeah. Okay. And I had to pay $963 for it to be removed. You're a good person. I can... Thank you. Yeah. But Go. can it be after, like, June 27th? I'm getting ready to go to Jamaica tomorrow. How long are you going to be in Jamaica? For seven days. Okay. You sure you're not going to stay there during the winter? Because Inspector, oh, no. Inspector Quinn would love to come down and <laughs> apprehend you if you're going to be there in January. <laughs> will, you, will you be available August yes. 8th? Well, Wanda, when you come here for trial on that date, right, bring in evidence of what the temperature <coughs> was at that time of the year. You can get It's available online. Okay. Right? And so bring some documentation in that you would be able to submit to the court. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Thank Good luck. You. I love animals. So it's easy for me to spot a fellow animal lover, and I'm certain Lawanda Abney is one of them. Anyone who spends $963 on a dog's hernia operation would never place that animal in a life-threatening situation. I hope she has a wonderful time in Jamaica and look forward to seeing her back in court, where I feel confident she'll be pleased with the results. Mm. Kayla? Good morning, Michaela. Good morning. Michaela, you have a red light violation on Roger Williams and Elmwood Avenue. Yes. We have a video. We're going to show it to you. Okay. I yielded a little. <laughs> did she stop long enough? I don't know. In the intent of the law, yes. I did. What do you want to tell me? Yeah, it looks like I, I don't know. Um, maybe I went a little too fast. I thought I yielded, but it doesn't look like I stopped completely. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. It was close. Okay. Okay. But not close enough to dismiss it. Okay. 
Okay. But close enough that I'm going to charge you $35 court cost. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.